you can start. Okay, ma'am, thank you so much. Okay, uh, a very warm welcome to all the participants of IIU. Thank you so much for joining this call. And I would, I'm extremely delighted and extremely excited to be a part of this. Thank you so much once again, everyone. And uh, I would like to like, you know, uh, convey my heartfelt gratitude to IIU for providing me with this opportunity today for uh, delivering this session. Thank you so much, IIU. And at the same time, I wish all of you a very good morning, good evening, and also good afternoon for, for everyone who are joining from every nook and corner of the world. Thank you so much once again. And uh, before I could start, I would just like to, uh, uh, like, you know, give a brief introduction about IIU. So IIU is known as International Internship University. It's a leading virtual education system and global brand confederation, which is the most valuable and trusted worldwide and well reputed in delivering innovative programs. Globally, it is a trusted name for quality training programs and it's committed to providing better and virtual education to all the young learners of the globe. In a short span of time, IIU has spread its wings in 195 countries and six continents under the strong leadership of its visionary founder, Mr. Piyush Panditsa, a committed and inspiring social activist, a passionate educationist from the last two decades, providing education to students from various social and cultural backgrounds. I, Manas Jyoti Mitra, take the privilege to be a resource person for the training session by the Training, Learning and Development Department of the International Internship University. Thank you so much. And uh, now I would like to start on with the session. But before that, it's very important that today we have all gathered here to learn something about gratitude. Now the title of my topic today is Enjoying the Joyful Drizzling of Gratitude. So how gratitude is joyful and how gratitude can be joyful, how it can bring in a lot of cherishing moments for all of us, we are all going to learn that together in today's class. So with this, I would just like to present my screen. But before we go and uh, actually observe this, I have a small video to play. Uh, I will play a short video on gratitude and we will understand through the video what gratitude is all about before I go for the, like, you know, uh, showing you the content. Today, boys and girls, we're going to take a few minutes and draw on the pieces of paper in front of you something or someone you are grateful for. Taking the time for gratitude is so important for our peace of mind and our happiness. And it's a great way to remind ourselves how lucky we are for what we have. So here's the video. Today, boys and girls, we're going to take a few minutes and draw on the pieces of paper in front of you something or someone you are grateful for. Taking the time for gratitude is so important for our peace of mind and our happiness. 
And it's a great way to remind ourselves how lucky we are for what we have and who we have in our lives. Afterwards, we're going to share what we've drawn with the rest of the class. Let's begin. Wonderful class. Now, who would like to come up first and share what you're grateful for? Me. Yes, Sarah, come on up. I'm thankful for trees because they give me oxygen. That's wonderful, Sarah. Thank you so much. Who would like to go next? I'll go. Jason, come on up. I grew my parents because without them, I wouldn't even be here. <laughs> and also they help me with my homework. And I love them. Chocolate. I'm grateful for chocolate. Okay, Rebecca. Thank you. Simon, why don't you come up and share with the class what you're grateful for? Come on up, Simon. I'll be right up here with you. What are you grateful for, Simon? Would you like to play a game with your classmates to see who can guess whose hand you drew? Would you like that? All right, class. Can anyone guess whose hand Simon drew? I think it's the hand of a policeman because they protect us and keep us safe. I think it's Simon's hand because he's grateful to have a hand. <laughs> Is it the hand of God? It's your hand, Miss Sanders. All right, so that was a video. I hope uh, all of you have understood the message thoroughly in terms of what exactly, what message was being portrayed in the video. So there's a small boy so uh, who like, you know, uh, the teacher has asked them to uh, like, you know, write the things for which they are grateful for. And the kids, like innocent kids, like, you know, they started drawing a lot of things. So few of them drew their parents, few of them drew chocolates, few of them, like, you know, drew uh, uh, so many other stuffs, right, for which are uh, trees, for which they are grateful for. And this guy, Simon, had drew, uh, drawn the hand of a teacher. So because uh, he knows that, you know, the teacher has always been by his side or by the, by the side of the students. Uh, helping them out throughout all the difficulties and all the tough times, making them to learn and coach them to be a better person and strive hard to be, I mean, making them to, or making them to ensuring that they strive hard to be a better person in the future. So all those things uh, like, you know, has made Simon to draw the hand of his teacher. 
So gratitude is all about this. It's all about like, you know, ensuring that we do the little things for people. We ensure that we uh, like, you know, give the little uh, contribution or probably little a bit of like, you know, thankfulness to them and uh, give them some appreciation in return, which actually helps them and also helps us. Right. So this is all about uh, the gratitude thing. So we are going to understand in detail more about this. So uh, for that, I'm going to share the content now. I think uh, we have some problem with trainer connection. We will wait a little. I'm sure that he will come.
we will wait. We have people from Manila, Philippines, from Canada, from Nigeria, from Bangladesh, Egypt. It's a joy to have to see so many people with us today. from Bangladesh, from Georgia, from Pakistan. Please write your country in the chat line. And we will see all countries. Algeria, great. India, Tunisia, great. Please write your country. Happy to see so many countries. Yeah. India again. We'll wait. The trainer, he tried to connect. We have a problem with connection. Egypt, we have Egypt, we have again Pakistan, we have Serbia, Romania. Thank you, Sulantari. Let's see how many people is there. Yes, all are welcome to IIO indeed. If you want, you can um, write your thought about the topic today. Okay, greetings from Oman, from Egypt. Welcome all of you with us today. Let's have a little patience. And I am sure that the trader will come again. Dr. Supriya will come with us. Welcome, Dr. Supriya. Did you hear me? Dr. Supriya is the head of the Department Training, Learning and Development Department of IIO. Hello, dear. What's happening? Hello, Dr. Supriya. You can tell us a few words about the topic of today. Then the trainer will come. Did you hear me? Oh. 
always in online this happened problems connection yes dear charles you can share the discussion you can talk about this great topic i wait your thoughts in chat live please dear dr supriya you are welcome Okay, that a trainer can connect. We are so sorry for today. Thank you because you was with us. I think some connectivity issue, and this is a really, um, I mean, it's a not a new one which we face on a virtual platform. Some technical glitches are always there, so no worries. Let's wait. Okay, if you think that is okay to come and will come, we will wait. No worries. Greetings for Pakistan. We have another person from Pakistan. Happy to see you all today with us. Let's see, Sir Manash will be with us in a few moments. Welcome back, Sir Manash. Yeah, hi, ma'am. Uh, am I audible now? Yes, you are audible, sure. Uh, sorry, because uh, there has been some severe connectivity issue. You can that, go further, uh, please. Yeah, yeah, sure.
you can go for help without presentation if not work. Okay. No, no, it is working now. Is it uh, visible, ma'am? Yes, it's visible. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, so, uh, hello, everyone. I sincerely apologize. So, there has been some uh, uh, sort of uh, connectivity issues at uh, my end for which I couldn't, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, so I took little time for me to figure it out. So, yeah, so we will continue with this. And uh, so, this is the uh, thing. One second. All right, so uh, this is all about it. So we have just watched the video some time back and we have uh, seen that how exactly the teacher was like, you know, uh, making the students to learn and understand about uh, what, how, uh, what is, how, for what they are grateful for. And the students also have done a lot of uh, nice, small, small drawings and paintings for which, and this were very lovely for which a few of them were like, you know, uh, uh, mentioning about the trees, about the parents, about everything. So which we have discussed earlier. So now we will move further with this. So how exactly and what exactly gratitude is all about. So before that, uh, I'm just going to quickly introduce myself. So my name is Manas Jyoti Mitra. So I'm a certified master trainer. I'm an access consciousness bars practitioner. I'm also a neuro-linguistic programming professional. I'm a storyteller. I'm also a Reiki grandmaster and a healer with an overall work experience of 10 years. So this is a brief gist about me. So before I could just get into the, what gratitude is all about and make you understand and how gratitude works and what is the, uh, what exactly is the like in you know, a joyful result of gratitude. So before we get into that, so let us understand a short story of Bob and Ben over here. So I'm going to narrate a small story over here. And this is a story of two friends, Bob and Ben. And these two friends were very close right from the childhood. And they went to school together. They uh, like, you know, uh, went to the college together and they passed out uh, within the same year. But at the same time, wherein like, you know, uh, Bob and Ben, there's a small difference wherein like, you know, Bob uh, is working in a very small firm and Ben is working in a very huge, large multinational corporation. So let's get introduced now. So here we have with us Bob. So who is a very simple guy, even though like, you know, uh, he is uh, a very decent guy. So he earns his uh, uh, like monthly salary, probably the earning uh, livelihood, whatever he earns for himself and his family is pretty, pretty, pretty uh, less, not much. But yes, it is desirable because he can earn his livelihood through this. And uh, let's also meet the other friend that is the other person of the Bob's breast friend that is Ben. And however, as I've already mentioned, since Ben is working in a very large MNC multinational corporation, so Ben is earning quite a whole sum of money, right? So when you see this, you can immediately imagine that, wow. So both are same friends, both studied in the same college. They, pass, they studied in the same school, they studied in the same college, but despite of that, they chose two different paths. Like Bob chose to work in a very small firm, wherein his earning is pretty less and Ben's uh, like, you know, earning is pretty huge as he's working in a very big MNC organization. Now, what happened is one fine day, Bob and Ben, they were just, uh, they were just crossing the paths together and suddenly Bob met Ben and he saw Ben, that Ben was very, very, uh, in a very hazy manner. He was just, you know, uh, walking on the road. So Bob just asked Ben, hey, Ben, what happened? Why are you looking so sad and hazy? What happened? So is everything all right? Then Ben mentioned Bob that, you know, Bob, everything is fine. But the problem with me is like, I am not satisfied with, I'm not happy with whatever I'm earning. I still want to earn more. Then Bob said uh, with a smiling face. So, but I know Ben that you are earning in, uh, in uh, dollars together, but what exactly is your problem then? Uh, but still Ben says, no, Bob, you don't know. I still have lots of problems. Whatever I'm earning is not enough and not sufficient for me. I wish to earn even more and more and more. And this is the only reason for my sadness. And Ben asked Bob, hey, Bob, I also have one question. Uh, from the time we met, I saw you were smiling and blushing a lot. So what happened? As you, have you got any incremental promotion? Or has there been any increment in the salary? 
Bob smiles and stares at Ben and says, no, no, uh, Ben, it's not like that. I have not received, got any promotion and neither I have got any increment. So neither have I got any increment, but still I'm happy with whatever I have. Listening to this, Ben was finding Bob a little weird. He's saying, why do you give me such weird answers? Isn't it weird that you are happy with whatever you have and you don't want to like, you know, uh, gain or earn more? But listening to this, Bob says, no, no, whatever I'm having, I'm happy with it. And let me explain you something, Ben, uh, that I also want, you can also be very happy with whatever you have. Trust me. Then Ben says that really, is it so that I would be happy with whatever I have? Well, I don't think so. Then Bob says, don't worry, Ben, I'm going to take you through a small story again, which will make you understand that why exactly and how exactly you can happy with whatever you have. So now Bob narrates the story to Ben. So let's see what is the story. So Bob explains Ben about the very form of being sad. So Bob says that if you are sad, the whole point is you will always carry sorrow. The sad will, will like, you know, give you grief, will not give you happiness. And it is going to make you feel very adverse in every situation. And at the same time, it is also going to make your lightning mode a very darkened mode. So what do you want? What do you want? So which do you would like to choose? Would you like to choose to be in the darker side or do you like to be uh, like, you know, in the lighter, uh, lighter side of life? Then of course, Ben said, no, Bob, I would definitely like to be in the lighter side of life, but not the darker side of life. Then he said, yeah, then listen to me very carefully. I have a story to narrate. He just mentioned one thing to him. He said, Ben, before I narrate the story to you, I have a couple of questions for you. So do you answer to my questions? Then Ben said to Bob, yes, of course. Just ask me, please go ahead. Then Ben, uh, Bob asked a very simple question to Ben. How many minutes are there in an hour? Now Ben was like, he was mentioning that, Bob, are you serious You're asking me this question? Of course it is 60 minutes. Then he asks again, if one minute, how many seconds are there, Ben? And Ben now thinks, Bob, it's 60 seconds. Everyone knows. All right, I'm gonna ask you one more question. How many hours are there in a day? Ben said 24 hours. Then one day has 24 hours. 24 into 60 is how many minutes? He says 1440 minutes. But hang on, why are you telling me or trying to teach me this arithmetic? I am logical enough to know all these things. Bob said to Ben, hold on. So, 1440 into 60, since one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So if you calculate it, so in a day, there are how many seconds, Bob, uh, Ben? Then Ben says to Bob, it is 86,400 seconds, very confidently. Yes. So if you have 86,400 seconds, that is, this is a gift to you. This entire 86,400 seconds of your life is a gift to you by the almighty God. Now imagine if you are cribbing over something. Now say, for example, if you say, I have more money, I have, I'm earning quite a lot of handsome money. My salary is very handsome. But at the same time, I crib that, okay, I think this is not enough. I have to focus more. So when you focus run behind the more, more, more part of it, you tend to ignore what you have in existing. So just imagine, in this 86,400 seconds, if you continuously think about that, I need to run behind more. If I get more money, I will be happy. Then you are wasting this entire 86,400 seconds of yours. Mind well. There are so many things you can do in this, with this 86,400. So he mentions here. So is it worthy enough now, Ben, that to let go of your precious 86,400 seconds just by feeling sad the entire day and creeping over the things which you do not have for the entire day. Then it sticked Ben's mind. He said, no, Bob, I think you are correct. Well, Bob said, now I'm going to narrate you a story. Now, what is the story? Now, this is the story. So once upon a time, so there was a car driver who was driving a, who was uh, driving a car and he saw a helicopter which was flying by. 
And when he saw the helicopter, immediately the driver just said, I wish I would have had the helicopter. This car is so boring for me. Then immediately he said, he saw another man, which was in red color car, and he was desiring to be in the yellow color car. He, when he saw the yellow color car, he was so fascinated because that was his dream car. The red color, the person who was driving the red car, he was thinking in his mind, I wish I could have had the yellow color car. Now, what happened? Look at that new car. So there was a blue car, like, you know, uh, the, the, there was another car which was blue in color and there was another car which was passing by, passing by. And suddenly the, the person saw the blue color cars, or the, the, the normal color car saw the, uh, the blue color car. And he was also thinking the same thing. Look at that new car. I wish I could have had that car. And there was a small guy who was riding a bicycle. So he was thinking that, oh God, alas, I have been riding this bicycle since ages altogether. If I could just afford a car, it would be so great for me. Now, what happened is, then there was another person who was like, you know, uh, passing by and he saw the person in the, in the bicycle or the bike. And he was wondering, oh God, what if, if I would have had a small bicycle or a bike or a two wheeler, it would have been great for me. And looking at, into all these things, there was a little girl who was peeping out of the window and she was handicapped. She, she couldn't like, you know, walk and she was in the wheelchair. And she was thinking that it would be sure, it, it sure would be nice to walk. So she was thinking in that way. So then with this, Bob explained Ben, see, there is no dirt. So there's a famous saying which says, there's an end to human need, but there is no end to human greed. So you always love to desire for more and it's nothing wrong in it to desire for more, but at least, be grateful for whatever you have in existing. It's very, so our tendency is, we tend to follow others very quickly, but ensure that rather than following others, I need to also look into myself that, am I worthy enough? Am I giving me the equivalent values that, okay, I am also having, I, all, I too hold some desire, some value in front of myself. So when I do that, of course, yes, other things would be there, but, I would still feel happy about myself. Yes, even I am also worthy enough. So this world, each and every, each and every living organize, or each and every living beings, each and every living org um, organisms, and everyone, they are very, very. They have infinite energy. They are infinite being. They have infinite potential. So we all are infinite, and we have lots and lots of energy. If any, so we need to ensure that we need to tap into that energy. So it's only then sometimes we think that, okay, probably we are not good like him or we are not good like her. It's just a judgment that we have. But if we just look into ourselves and if we feel that, okay, we are also worthy enough, we can also do a lot of things. And when we do it, we feel really happy that, yes, yeah, I can also do a lot of things, right? So it's always important that focus should be always on self. Because if you are changing yourself, if we are changing our own focus in terms of how we look at ourselves, we can change the perspective of people around us. So then what happened, Bob decided to give Ben a gift. He said, Ben, I want to give you a gift today. And this gift, once you open it, and once you use this gift for your life, mark my words, you will have a very wonderful life. Ben was astounded and he was asking Bob, so what is this gift? What is this gift all about? Then Ben was, Bob was saying, unwrap it first, then you will get to know. So what happened? So what did Ben do? Ben unwrapped the gift. And what came out of the gift? Be grateful, practice gratitude. So he said, be grateful for whatever you have and love yourself whatever the small things are there, be it any small things, any little things in your life, start giving gratitude to it. Then you see your aura, your vibes automatically increases and you become the best version of yourself. 
By listening to this, Ben decided, yes, I should do it. And what next? Ben started thanking everyone. Ben started practicing gratitude. He started thanking. He started thanking each and every people, each and everything on this in this universe. And trust me, Bob had transformed Ben com completely. He started saying thank you. He started saying I'm grateful. He he started acknowledging that okay, whatever is there with me, let me acknowledge that first. Let me be in allowance with that first. Let me be happy with that first. He started being in allowance, he started being happy and he did every possible things. And what was the result out of this? One fine day, he became happy. So this is Ben here, who was very, having a very hazy face in the initial days, now has become very happy. Now he started finding happiness, even in an unhappy environment as well. So why this letter, or this, this word happy is written in different, different letters with different, different colors is that in every situation, be it a gracious situation, be it an adverse situation, it didn't matter to, it, it never mattered to Ben a lot. He started practicing it. He started feeling positivity and he, he understood that if some situations are there, the situations are not going to be forever. Nothing in this world is permanent. We should always remember neither our problems are. So we should not always focus on the problems. Whenever any problems comes to you, it's better that we should diversify our thinking and think that how exactly we can figure out a solution to the problem rather than only focusing on the problem. Because the more you keep focusing on the problems, the universe gives you more and more problems. That's the, that's the, that's the reality. This is the law of attraction. The more you pass on something to the universe, it is going to come back to you in the same frequency or probably 10x the frequency that you have sent it. So it's very, very, very important. We need to understand, we need to ensure that happiness is not something that we can find outside. It is something which is within us. We need to inculcate the happiness within ourselves. And how do we do that? Simply by practicing gratitude. So you can see how this practicing of gratitude to the person, let's take the example of Ben, so the person Ben who was earning a million dollars every, every year as a salary, wasn't happy with the salary because he wanted to get more. He wanted to earn more of it. It's, it's not, there's nothing wrong, but acknowledge and say that I'm grateful for whatever I have received. So when you do not pay gratitude to whatever is there with you existing, whatever is existing with you, then how would you think that, you know, you will be really very, very, very happy and uh, uh, you will have a greater face in the future. That's not possible. So that's the reason it's very important in every situation, you need to maintain the serenity and tranquility of our mindsets and ensure that it's a situation. It is not permanent and learn to be in allowance in every situation. The more you be, learn to be in allowance, the more your frequency of the problems gets like, you know, it gets shorter and shorter and shorter. So that is how it is. So what are you grateful for? So what you're supposed to do? Now, how can you practice this? How can you make this as your daily practice? It's quite simple. Just take a book, take a journal and then start writing. Put today's date whenever before you are going to sleep, before you are going to the bed. What you can do is just grab a piece of paper or a, or a notebook and, and take a pen and just start writing the good things that have happened to you in the entire day. When you start doing this, you can see there is a 360 degree positive shift in your life. If you ask me, I have started practicing gratitude since 2020. <laughs> when the COVID, uh, you know, when there was COVID across and around the world, around the globe, and during that time, I started practicing gratitude. And trust me, from 2020 till 2022, within the span of two years, I have seen dramatic changes in me. I have improved so much that I just cannot say that, you know, in, I cannot just pen down those things in words. I have, impro I have improved and have scaled up well in every aspect of my life. Honestly, and I did that. I... In order, I, I, I didn't resist it to myself. 
I didn't restrict it to myself. When I did this, when I saw some very great results coming into my life, I have made it a practice for my family members also to do it. So my mom, my cousins, everyone have started now practicing gratitude. And it is giving them so positive vibes. They're loving it. They're enjoying it. And you should do it. And it's pretty simple. Just you need to have a journal. So I'm just going to show my gratitude journal. So this is my gratitude journal, which I have made. And you know, uh, here uh, I, I just uh, jot down all my gratitudes, whatever is there, along with the date. I just keep writing every day. So not even a single day I miss doing it. <laughs> and you know, there's a saying that, you know, if you do something for 21 days, it becomes your habit. And if you do something for 90 days continuously, it becomes your lifestyle. Now this has become my lifestyle. So if I do not write my gratitude journal, I will not get sleep that night. And you know, trust me, I can't explain you. See, unless not until you try this out, uh, peer, like mere expectation is not going to help you to a greater extent. If you try it out, you can see, feel the essence. It's just like, you know, you try some a good, uh, uh, like, you know, curry and you feel the taste, right? That's how it is. So please try it out. Just say, just write simple thing, date, uh, the, uh, the, the same day's date where you're going to jot down the, uh, like, you know, pointers, date, then write, I am grateful for this. So you can write anything. I'm grateful for the sunshine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm grateful for the, uh, the, the monsoon season. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm grateful for the food that I eat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm grateful for the money that I have. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everything. And also, if you receive anything, if you receive a gift, if you receive any small thing from anyone, acknowledge that and be grateful for that. And you see the wonders in your life. Trust me, you will experience the wonders in your life. Like sometimes what happens on other day, this happened to me, two rupees got credited to my bank account. And I immediately like, you know, I was grateful for the two rupees which got credited. Now, sometimes some might feel right, two rupees, it's only a two rupee it got credited. Why should I be grateful for it? No, we should be grateful for that as well. Because the more you be grateful for the things, the more universe gives, the more you raise positive vibes and the universe gives you back that 10x. The more gratitude you show to the universe, you receive the same thing back 10x times more than you actually emit the energy. Trust me, it is a magic. You can be grateful for your health. You can be grateful for your hairs. You can be grateful for anything the water that you drink, the bottle that you carry, the internet that you use, anything. So learn. So in a, every day, make it as a daily practice. It is always great if you make it as a daily habit of yours. Before going to bed, just write, even say one or two things also, right, which you are grateful for, because there will be some good things that have happened. Each day is uh, like, you know, each day will bring in to, for you a lot and lots, lots and lots of happiness and lots and lots of surprises. So be ready for that. And once you start practicing gratitude, the surprises frequency would be even more higher, right? You will start receiving a lot of things. You will, you can't even imagine, oh God, like this person called me, that person called me. I received a gift out of nowhere. It happens. There are so many examples that, you know, there are endless examples that I can quote that has happened to uh, in my life. I've experienced in my life and I'm so grateful to the universe that you know universe has always supported me in every in every aspect right so so please practice this even if you want to if you want your life to be magical so this is my sincere request that please practice at least write one line that i'm grateful for this whatever happened in the same day and you see the the very magic from that very moment itself okay so this is out of my experience, I'm saying. I've experienced it, I've practiced it. That's the reason I'm mentioning this to all of you. So please practice this and savor the essence of magic in your life, right? So when you do this, so this is, this is the quote which I always keep in mind. <laughs> so when you do this, you become a better version of yourself, as I said. So every day in every way, I am getting better and better. So this is what this what happens to you when you start practicing gratitude when you start uh, like you know uh, focusing when you start living gratitude 
then you see the you see that every day you are becoming the better version of yourself right and you will have joyful result everywhere resulting of joyfulness everywhere so you will be so happy i mean i can't just explain this that the happiness the joy you know would know no bounds if you start doing this so please start doing this right from today and it is really going to like you know give you enormously amazing results and you would definitely like you know feel very happy doing this so that's it from my end uh, thank you so much everyone and uh, i would like to once again thank uh, iiu for providing me with this wonderful opportunity and uh, thank you so much and sincere apologies again for <laughs> the connectivity issue which happened in mid so <laughs> and honestly when that thing was happening you know just would like to share this also experience that when connectivity thing was going on i was just giving lot of gratitude to the connectivity and that's the reason like see we are able to connect now and i am able to complete the session so thank you so much everyone so and uh, yes uh, i hope to uh, like you know meet you further meet meet you guys again and uh, probably deliver some other uh, uh, top session on so any other topic uh, in the future So until then thank you so much and uh, bye bye take care all of you